Hi there, it's Lisa Spengler here with the video for Studio Calico. And today I'm going to be sharing a start to finish card using these stamps and die cuts from various April kits. And I'm going to be working on watercolor paper. This is just a Canson XL watercolor paper. And I wanted to start off by showing you how I open my stamp packages. I like to just grab a pair of scissors and then trim the side like this. And then I have a built-in storage pocket. So everything's all labeled and I know um, who made the stamp set and everything. And I have to say this works great and I learned it from Tina's Instagram feed. Next, I wanted to share how I plan my cards. I do this trick a lot, and that is to take an uninked stamp, so a stamp with no ink on it, and I just put the stamps on a piece of paper that's trimmed a card size. There you can have a better look at the stamp set. And so this watercolor paper that I'm working on is trimmed to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So that's the standard card side print. And then you can just kind of play around with positioning and you don't have to stamp anything just yet. So I want to incorporate some of these die cuts. I think they're so cute and I love this coffee cup. This would be great to make a card where you put a, a gift card for a coffee shop like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts or something like that inside the card. So I'm like looking around for things that would kind of go with the coffee cup. And I also like to try different orientations. So that was a portrait card, but then I thought maybe I would try a landscape card and I can put like the birthday next to each other, like something like that. And then I found this really cute little dog and I thought it would be fun to put him on top of the happy and then also have the coffee cup. I'm not too sure how I like that, but like I said, I haven't stamped anything yet, so I can totally change this up. And after playing around some more, I think I settled on this layout, just like that. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and stamped the happy birthday with um, navy pigment ink. And then I heat embossed it with sparkle clear embossing powder. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there, but in real life, it's really sparkly. And then I'm going to take this flat brush and add some watercolor. And I'm going to use the colors that are in the die cuts. That's one thing about having the embellishments picked out ahead of time is that you can base your colors on um, your embellishments and then it's kind of a no-brainer. A lot of times I have trouble figuring out what colors I want to use, but I thought I'd start out by using like the teal color from one of the hearts and the plaid in one of the um, tags. And I like to just like do a little swatch test to make sure it's gonna be good. And then I just go ahead and brush that on there. And I'm not being too careful, as you can see. And I even like to get a little bit of extra color and just kind of add some more color just here and there. I think it makes it look cool. And it will also kind of puddle inside some of the letters um, since that embossing will kind of make a well and trap it in there and I think that looks really cool too. So here I am adding some blue to the teal and I did the same thing where I added a little bit extra color. Now for the happy I think I'm going to go with like a coral peachy color. So I'm just picking up some orange and pink and maybe some more orange and then I tested it um, on my little swatch piece of paper. I didn't get I didn't get it on camera sorry about that and I decided it needed a little bit more pink. So I just added some pink on there and then tested that as well. Once again I didn't get my swatch on camera that time sorry about that and then I'm going to just brush that color over top of the happy 
and then I'm going to add a little bit more orange so it'll kind of blend together on the paper and make some variation in there. And then to finish up, I'm going to go ahead and make some splats. I love making splats on birthday cards because it kind of makes me think of confetti, like kind of coming down. And then I'll go ahead and set this aside to dry. And you can see that the paper is curled a little bit, but as it dries, it'll flatten back out. And I think that just looks really pretty. Now I wanted to show you one trick that I like to do with these die cuts, and that is to add some glitter glue um, to the die cut just to add a little extra something. And I thought I'd share a trick with that as well. So I like to take a paintbrush and then I just dip it in water so it's damp and then like kind of wipe it off. And then I paint the glitter around. So first I squeeze it out from the glitter glue bottle. Now with the damp paintbrush, I'm going over it and kind of smoothing it out just to add that little extra sparkle. Last but not least, I wanted to show you my trick for this tag. So I punched a hole in the watercolor paper to line up with the tag, and then I'm going to tie the bow up at the top. So it looks like the tag is just hanging down. Then I added the hearts and the little coffee cup with the glitter on them. And I added some sequins just for some more sparkle. You can never have enough sparkle on a birthday card. And then here's a look at the watercoloring on the happy birthday. I really love how that came out. So thanks so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this start to finish card video.